So one of the best things about the theater is the opportunity to work as a team. You get to work with so many other people who want to problem solve with you, who want to create really fun, interesting images and characters. And it's a place where you feel at home. Um, I love that the theater allows you to be creative. It allows you to explore uh, the person that you want to be. And it's really hands-on. So you're up, you're moving, you're active, and you're challenging yourself in different ways that maybe you've never challenged yourself before. So theater is a lot of fun. You're able to act and perform and create characters, but production design is equally as fun. It's a class where you are creating and artistic. You're able to develop backgrounds. You're able to do lighting and sound, um, thinking critically about what to you know, do to create the illusion on the stage. Things like costumes and makeup that just transform the stage and make it into that imaginary world that the audience loves to watch. So it's a great class. What does choir mean to me? Choir, I have been singing since second grade. It's a part of who I am. And what I love about it is that you may not be a solo singer and that's okay. You may be afraid to sing in front of a lot of people by yourself. But when you're with a choir, you have a group of people that are around you that are working towards the same goal. They are wanting to just create beautiful music together. And they're like your backup, they're your posse. They're, it's just, it's so fun to be able to make music with a, a large group of students and a large group of people. It's just one of those things that I love is that, is that camaraderie with each other. So some of my favorite events in choir, I don't know if I can just narrow it down to one. We do so many fun things. Um, I take the students to Disneyland. We do caroling in Dickens outfits during the holiday season. We've taken students to New York. We've t we're, we were gonna do Chicago this year, but we can't do that this year, but maybe soon we'll do Chicago and San Francisco. I've taken students to. There are so many fun things and so many fun opportunities besides just even the singing concerts in in school, the things that we do. It's just so much fun. I just can't pick my favorite one. What does the dance program mean to me? Well, I've been here for a long time and every year it just gets more and more special that I'm able to share how much I love dance and every aspect of it with my students. I love movement, I love pushing myself to new limits, and I love creating, and that's what is such a joy to pass on to all the students who walk in my door, fresh and ready for a new experience. So I asked my students, just a few minutes ago, why should you take dance? And they had a slew of reasons. The first one, they wanted to make sure everybody knew that it counts as a PE credit, and boy, do we work hard. The other reasons were that you have fun. They kept repeating that, that they've made wonderful new friends, that they've discovered something about themselves that they never knew they had in them, and that it was very important you knew you don't have to have dance experience because that's why you have a teacher. We're going to bring it all out of you, and by the time you walk out of here, you're gonna be a dancer. My program means to me um, making better humans through band as its vehicle. What, so what I mean by that is students have to work hard to achieve a goal together. It's kind of a pack mentality that we focus on. And when students learn how to focus their energies on one particular skill or a common group goal, what they're actually learning is what they need to do to problem solve, work toward accomplishing a task and accomplishing it together. When you translate that to real life, they'll know how to tackle obstacles and how to plan to do it. So the thing that makes band special at Centennial are the students who come through the program. Um, because I teach 9th through 12th grade, I just I get to see this really rewarding growth over four years. So when a kid comes to my program as a freshman, they have a varied level of ability because of where they came from, but once they get here, it, it doesn't matter. It's my responsibility to shape them into who they're going to be. So by the time they approach their senior year, their sight reading better, their tone quality is better, everything about their ability is just better.